dudes! In this video I'm going to go through the most simple piece of your guitar rig and show you a few different demonstrations of how much it actually affects the tone especially when recording. So this is your guitar pick and obviously they're not very expensive or most of them aren't some of them now you can get boutique ones that are up to like $20, $30 which is a bit, bit much um, but you can go from the most simple of all as favourite Jim Dunlop yellow uh, right through to these tone wood picks and the difference it makes when playing live and also especially recording because sometimes I've listened to some recordings and there's a lot of pick attack and it's on clean parts when it weren't really necessary and I think if they'd have changed the type of pick they were using to a different sort of plastic or different material or thickness or thinness then it might really have changed the outcome so I personally have got a lot of picks uh, I think there's about 150 in there so a lot of them are very similar and it's just ones I've accrued over the years so I've picked out the ones that are most distinct from each other uh, and I'm going to give a simple demonstration and I'm going to try and play exactly the same strength so the pick attack doesn't change but the material will show you how much difference it does make okay Now that's a Jazz 3 XL, which is my preferred pick, and it's made out of some sort of nylon, and you don't hear very much pick attack, and I'll demonstrate that. Now this one is made out of wood and ebony in the part that hits the string, and I'll show you the difference. Because every time this one hits the string, it gives it a little tiny natural harmonic. It's very scrapey. Now that might be what you're after. But if it's not what you're after, then there's something like this, the uh, shark fin. These have been around for years. I remember having one of these as a kid. And this is super bendy and also very lightly brushes against the string because it's rounded. So I'll show you this one. Now switching to a metal pick. This is a tech pick. All these are available if you Google them. Now I've chosen this guitar, uh, this is a really cheap guitar that I just did up a bit myself but it's still got it's original pickups in it which are really cheap ones uh, very microphonic as you can see but I sometimes like that and it gives us a really true sound of what the pick's doing now this one's made out of some sort of horn um, it's also by the Tonewood company uh, it's super thick, it's the thickest one I've got and it's got a natural indentation in it and a place for your thumb too but it's really heavy now switching to a Jim Dunlop prime tone that I've dropped uh, this is a Jazz 3, it's very small uh, and it's one of their newer plastics uh, and I really like this pick, uh, however I recently moved from the smaller ones to the bigger ones so... Mm -hmm. And now finally the standard, which everybody can get from everywhere. Yeah, I've chose yellow, I like the 73mm one. I could hear myself just sat here, the, the classic Jim Dunlop really picked out. I, I could hear it pulling on the string and that affects it as well. Uh, and obviously in your recording you might not want that scrape. 
so yeah, I settled myself uh, on a nylon uh, XL series Jazz Three uh, out of all these picks. Uh, but it's really up to you. But I would recommend spending a few pounds or dollars or euros and just going through some picks and seeing how it affects your recordings because sometimes I'll have chosen like a really quiet part and I might be using a wrong pick. Say I've been playing my acoustic and got the tone wood in my pocket. I can hear that clacking against the string. So I would definitely want to go to something really thin, like the shark fin. So yeah, I hope that's uh, maybe jogged your memory or made you think, oh yeah, I've been using the same pick for years. Uh, and you might want to go through some different ones and give it a whirl. Thanks for watching anyways guys uh, and please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Later.